All right, Tara, thank you. New at 6, a massive construction site in Charlotte's South End is causing quite the buzz in the community. Business owners and residents around the corner of South Church Street and West Bland Street have listened as construction crews start the beginning stages of new residential development. Fox 46's chief business correspondent joins us live with a bird's eye view of the construction site. And Taylor Young joining us. This is taking up nearly an entire block. Taylor. Yeah, absolutely, Lindsay. Over the last couple of days, witness construction crews demolish the buildings that were here. Now, this is just the remnants of that. And what will take its place is an apartment complex with hundreds of units. Black construction tarp wraps around nearly two acres of land on South Church Street, shielding foot traffic from demolition and prompting questions of what's being built. I mean, it's South End. There's always constructions. Behind the perimeter, an excavator rips apart two-story office buildings and parking lots. According to the Patterson Real Estate Advisory Group, two Atlanta-based developers purchased the property with plans of turning it into a 304-unit mid-rise apartment building. It makes me laugh because I feel like there's just always construction in South End um, and more apartments is just crazy. It seems like it's never ending, but I think for me personally, as a small business owner, um, it'll be a great thing. We'll have more people living on the block, coming to shop. That Britt Gooding, as well as a handful of other small boutique owners, will be celebrating their one-year anniversary on Winterford Street this weekend. We still get people, even though we've been here for a year, that are kind of go, oh, we had no idea these, these stores or shops were back here. The owners say they're looking forward to more people living in the area, despite the constant sound of construction. That comes with it. South End's just growing so much, and that's one of the reasons we want to be here. And there's just so much happening and going on that, you know, it's fun to be a part of. And according to Charlotte Center City Partners, the first of those apartments are expected to be completed by 2023. Reporting in up, uh, South End, Taylor Young, Fox 46. Now at 6, a second person charged in a suspected street racing crash that killed a six-year-old boy in Gaston County appeared in court today along with the little boy's parents. Gracie Eves faces multiple charges, including involuntary manslaughter. A judge set her bond for $100,000. Troopers say the little boy and his dad were on their way home last month when two other cars sped down the highway. Authorities say the cars were going about 100 miles an hour before sideswiping the family's vehicle. 46-year-old Donnie Crabb was the first person to be charged for his role in the crash. He is now being held on a million-dollar bond.